Welcome to Music with Mrs. Avery. Hello everyone. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to analyze the notes on the lines of the bass clef staff. But before we get started, you are going to need two things. You are going to need a blank piece of lined notebook paper and a pencil. Please make sure that it is notebook paper that you get and not plain white paper. It will make this assignment much easier to complete. So go ahead and pause this video so that you can go and get those materials. Now that you have your materials, let's get started. First, take your piece of blank lined notebook paper and your pencil, and you are going to draw two staves. You're going to use the lines on the paper to trace so that you get nice, neat, straight lines that are equally spaced apart. Remember that a staff has five lines and four spaces, so make sure that you are counting very carefully and only tracing five lines. Then you'll want to give yourself some space and you'll want to draw five more lines. Make sure that you are tracing those blue lines. And when you're finished, your paper will look very similar to mine. Please take your time on this. Please make sure to use pencil so that if you do make any mistakes, you can erase them easily. Great. So if you need a little bit more time, go ahead and pause this video so that you can finish drawing your staves. Otherwise, we're gonna get started. At the top of your paper, let's go ahead and uh, title um, our assignment and we are going to be looking at the line notes on oops on the bass clef staff bass is spelled B-A-S-S -S, not B-A-S-E okay So, there is the title. Go ahead and write the title nice and neat on the top of your paper. Line notes on the bass clef staff. And like I mentioned earlier, we are going to learn how to analyze these notes on the staff. Excellent. If at any time I'm moving too fast for you, please feel free to pause the video so that you can catch up. All right, so if we're gonna analyze the notes on the lines of the bass clef staff, we first have to have a bass clef, and you learned how to draw a bass clef in your last lesson, so let's review. We are going to start on line four, so we count from the bottom to the top. One, two, three, four. We are going to draw a dot. Then we're going to go to the left of the dot. Remember, we're going to draw sort of half of a heart, but we're going to start it on the left side of that dot. It's going to touch line five and come down just past line two. Then we have to add our two dots. And remember, it's very, very um, important that we add those two dots in the third space and the fourth space so that they surround this fourth line because that fourth line is very important. Do you remember what we can also call a bass clef? It's the F clef. Good job. And these two dots show where the F line is. And that's gonna come up again in our lesson a little bit later. So, we have five lines on the staff. So we're going to learn how to analyze those five lines with a bass clef. So, let's start by drawing in our notes. So we're gonna start on line one. We'll draw whole notes today. So nice and neatly with me in pencil. We're gonna draw a note on line one. Let's give it a nice space and then draw one on line two, line three, line four, and line five. Please make sure that your notes 
are the same size. Make sure that they are evenly spaced out. You should have lots of room on your paper to space them out nice and neatly. Excellent. Now we're gonna use a sentence to help us analyze the notes on the base cuff stack. So I'd like for you to repeat after me. Gorillas buy donuts for apes. Let me hear you say it, go. Gorillas buy donuts for apes. Lots of monkey business going on in this lesson today. Let's say it one more time together, ready? And gorillas buy donuts for apes. Excellent, so let's get our hands up. We're gonna turn and look at our palm. We're gonna make sure that our pinky is at the bottom and we are going to use our fingers as the lines of our staff. So we'll count this pinky finger down here as line one, just like line one is at the bottom of our staff. And we're gonna count on up to our thumb. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Outstanding. Now, let's say our sentence together to help us analyze the line notes on the base plus staff. Ready? Gorillas buy donuts for apes. You got it. Let's try it one more time. Ready? And gorillas buy donuts for apes. Yes. So let's look at our first note. We can see that this first note is on line one. Oh yes, and now we'll take our hand out. We will count to line one. One. Excellent, now we say our sentence. Gorillas buy donuts for apes. Well, what word did we say when we touched line one? Gorillas, yes. So our note on the first line of a bass clef staff is G. And we're gonna label G, we'll label it underneath the note, and we always wanna use a capital letter. We never label our notes with lowercase letters, always capital letters. Awesome, let's look at our second note. We see it is on line two, hands out, let's count, go. One, two, fantastic, let's say our sentence, ready? And gorillas, buy donuts for apes. Oh yeah, what word did we say on line two? Buys, that's right. And buys begins with B, so this note here is a B. Notice, I am not um, labeling the note higher. All of my notes are gonna be labeled in a straight line underneath line one of the staff. I'm never gonna label my notes up on the staff. So make sure that you're labeling below and using capital letters. Let's move on to note number three. Here we go. One, two, three, line three, hands out. Let's count and go. One, two, three. Yeah, so when we have a note on line three, what will it be? Let's say our sentence, gorillas, buy donuts for apes. What word did we say on line three? Donuts, that is correct. And donuts begins with the letter D, you are getting it. So, so far we have G, B, D, gorillas, buy donuts. Now let's look at this fourth note. One, two, three, four, here we go. Let's count, hands out, ready, and one, two, three, four. Fantastic, and now let's say our sentence. Gorillas, buy donuts, four, apes, what letter? Did we say four? And we it is an F. We said the word four and it's the letter F. Sorry, I got a little bit confused there. And we have one more left on line five. Gorillas buy donuts for. Let's do it with our hand this time. Gorillas buy donuts for apes. That's right. And so this note is an A. So take a moment. Double check and make sure that you have a note drawn neatly on each line of the base cuff staff. 
and go ahead and make sure that you have labeled in capital letters nice and neatly so that each letter is underneath the note. Your paper should look just like my board here. Excellent, so let's review that one more time. Hands out, let's count. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five. Now let's say our base cleft line sentence and gorillas buy donuts for apes. Now I'd like for you to practice drawing your base cleft a few more times. So on your lined piece of notebook paper, your top stave should have all of our line notes on the base cleft staff neatly drawn and labeled just like we completed together in the lesson. Now on your bottom stave here, you are going to practice drawing your base class and you should be able to draw about four or five of them neatly spaced out. So let's review it one more time together. You're gonna start on line four, draw your dot. Then we're going to go to the left of the dot. We're gonna draw that half a heart that touches line five, comes down just under line two, then you are going to add your two dots in spaces three and four. Make sure those dots surround line four. Remember the base clef is also known as the F clef. And so those dots show us where the F line is. So now I want you to take your pencil and I want you to practice drawing a few more base clefs on the bottom stave of your notebook paper. Please take your time and draw them neatly and space them out. Once you have finished drawing in your base clefts, you are going to take a picture of all of the work that you completed in this lesson and you are going to upload it into Google Classroom for me to review. Thank you for joining me.